these guys? These are family. Okay. Where are you guys coming from? Uh, Benson. Oh, okay. Cool. Benson? Yeah. Bowie, Bowie, Bowie. How do you, do you know their names or? I don't. Nice. I mean. Here's the deal. Um, I contacted Border Patrol because I want to verify who these people are. They have no idea on them. Um, when we get this a lot, this is what I do every day. I run into people out here all the time that are transporting you know, people from the border up north to Phoenix. Um, so it's nothing new. Are you? Where'd you pick them up at? Um, Bowie? 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 Yeah. I mean, that's close enough. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, you don't know who they are? I don't. They don't know. They don't have any ID on them. You know what I mean? It's pretty typical. One female, two male adults, and then a 15-year-old unaccompanied. Really? Yep. Doesn't know anyone in there. One of the passengers was a 15-year-old unaccompanied minor, and uh, so he was trans. He was uh, basically traveling with no one that he's related to. The female had already been contacted by Border Patrol once and been deported. And one of the males in the back had already been deported once by Border Patrol. Today, though, we were lucky. We no one, no one fled from us today, so it's been a good day. Do you know who these people are in the car? I'm assuming you don't. No. Okay. Cool. Hold tight, real quick. How many people you got? Um. That's okay. Okay. Cool. So, how much are you getting paid? I'm not doing, I'm not yeah, getting yeah. paid. Be honest, man. No, yeah, I'm you not, are. I'm not getting paid for, I'm not. Why not? Getting, I'm not capping. I don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> well, if you're not getting paid, you should be getting like a thousand bucks a person. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Come on now. No, bro, I'm being dead ass, dude. I'm being honest. Where'd you, where'd you, yeah. where'd you pick them up at? Huh? Where'd you pick them up at? Uh, I didn't pick them up. I just picked the vehicle up. Oh, where at? Uh, somewhere in Tucson. It's already loaded, huh? Yeah. You're not getting paid, you're getting ripped off. Yeah. I'm not saying you should go out and do this, but most people are getting, most drivers are getting like a thousand bucks. So you got 10 people in there. That's 10 grand. So you're making 10 grand for somebody. Apparently. After Border Patrol arrived and they were processing the people in the uh, van, <clears throat> the driver and the front seat passenger decided to run. And so uh, Border Patrol chased after him and uh, we assisted them and we were able to uh, get both of them into custody and they were turned over to Border Patrol. There was two of us that were pretty close to him. We had a couple of vehicles coming too, so they wouldn't have got very far. So yeah, that's that. Uh, they were turned over to Border Patrol and uh, we'll go out for the next one. The passenger in the uh, minivan that we stopped earlier, this is his brother right here. And they were parked behind us a couple hundred yards during the stop. And then after uh, after the driver and the passenger from the van took off running, uh, then these guys pulled up here and DPS stopped them right here. They have the same address. These guys are part of the group. They're more of like a scout car. What's up, boys? So, you escorting your friends back there? Huh? Okay, Following your friends? The Don't worry about it, man. Side of the public road. I know you guys are following those dudes. It's all good. Um, Wait, what happened? Your little friends that were running from us. Well, just know that um, don't be hauling bodies. Okay. Don't be hauling people up from the border. Okay. And if you are, and we stop you, don't run. Don't take off in a pursuit because that's when it gets real bad. Okay. I'm just giving you advice, man. If you flee, we will get you, and then you will go to jail. Well, we don't know so, about that. Guy. Yeah, whatever. It's all good, man. You better tighten your shoelaces if you decide to run, though. I'll catch you. 100%. 100%. Huh? 100%. You gotta remember, I'm already warmed up. I just chased after his brother. So I'm warm, man. Yeah? Yeah. No, you can run all you want. I'll still catch you. See, I'm just gonna let you run your ass off, and then I'm gonna come tackle your ass. Me yeah. I, play football. I don't care. When the, the two turds took off running, uh -huh. these guys pulled out and DPS was watching them. Really? And so they pulled out and he stopped them. The driver is either the cousin or the brother of the front seat passenger. Who's in there? Oh. <laughs> what is this? You stay there. It wasn't that big of a deal until I. I knew I could see someone in the back in the truck cargo area, so 
I kind of figured they were trying to hide him or conceal him. The driver, who is a 16-year-old uh, driver from, uh, he was born in the U.S., but he lives in Mexico. He said he's being paid uh, $800 uh, to haul for, per, per head, per person, to haul into Phoenix. And that's a lot of money for, you know, a young kid, 16-year-old. Uh, you know, he's going to get paid $3,200 for a couple hours worth of work. So this is pretty much a typical day lately, uh, last couple weeks. It's really picked up, but uh, so this is our third, this is actually my fourth uh Fourth stop with uh, that I've had to call Border Patrol on in the last uh, 24 hours, so in two shifts. Um, it's pretty typical. I'm not sure their names. Oh, okay. So you went down to Tucson this morning, is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. What part of Tucson? Um, I'd have to pull the address. Do you know these people? No, I don't know them at all. Okay. They don't, I don't even think they speak English. Where'd you pick them up at? I, I'd have to go look on my maps okay. to see what roads I was on. Okay, cool. So you don't know any of those people? Where were you taking them to? I don't know. I was just going to Chandler. They just were hitchhiking. So. They were just on the side of the road or what? Yeah. Do you normally do that? No. <laughs> you okay? What? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm totally okay. okay. Were they going to give you money or what? No, I don't think so. You don't think so? <laughs> have you ever picked up hitchhikers before? Yeah. I mean, I don't do it very often, but I have before. Okay. They don't speak any English? I don't think so. I didn't hear any English. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go talk to them real quick. You just stand right here. Okay. Three men, one woman. Do you guys have any licencia? Traen identificación? No. No? Are you sure, Clam? I am. Oh my gosh, I know I recognize you. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Ask them where they picked where they get picked up at. Naco. Los levantó en Naco, no? They look like they just crossed the border. I mean, they got camouflage clothes, so. Oh, I don't know I'm, anything. Like yeah, that. I'm gonna have a uh, border patrol come talk to them, <laughs> and then we'll fine. go from there. So. Yeah, Ask her if she picked him up in Naco. La gringa les leva los levantó en Naco. He says yes. Yeah. They're saying you picked them up in Naco. I don't even know where. In Naco. I don't even know what that is. That's down by the border. I've never been to the border. No, I'm just telling you. Come on, man. This isn't the first time we've done this job. Why not just have them sit down? No, the cardboard's to protect my car. I've been moving all my stuff. Yeah. A $55,000 car, and I sold an acre and a 2,500 square foot shop in Casa Grande. And I have $50,000 worth of stuff for sale in my garage in San Valencia and Chandler. But why not, ju why not just have them you sit? totally look it all up. It's all an opera. No, no, that's, uh, that's beside the point. Why not just have them sit up? I'm sorry. Why not just have them sit in the I seats? I already down when I was in Tucson. Yeah. All my stuff was look, down. Look, uh, uh, Yeah. My car's been like this. That's all right, man. It's, you can try to explain it away all you want. We do this five times a day. No, I'm saying though, if you saw the vehicle... When you I have four illegals in your car. You have four illegals in your car. I guarantee you are getting paid at least $1,000 for each one of these. And you're trying to pretend like we're stupid. Don't, man, don't look at me like you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay? I, I doubt that this is your first time either. They're from Mexico. ¿Cuánto tiempo tienen viajando? ¿Cuánto tiempo tienen viajando, caminando? Unos días, un mes, una semana. Un días. Several days. They didn't say how much they paid, but uh, it was more than 6,000. More than 6,000. ¿Cuánto salió? Como unos 10,000? O 8,000? Yeah. One of them said it was, I said 6,000, he said, I wish. So I said, what, more? And he said, yeah, more. So I'm guessing maybe between eight and 10,000. We're not stupid, okay? We know the game. This is what I do, I sit out, this is what I do every day, okay? I sit and stop people for, you know, going too fast, and they're hauling bodies, and they tell me the same story. Okay? But I know, I, know that I know the real story, though, okay? I've done this long enough, so I know, that you're not doing this out of the kindness of your heart. And you don't have to tell me, that's up to you. I, I could care less, but you're gonna have to talk to BP about it. These people were literally on the side of the road. 
That may be, but you didn't happen just to bump into him. I literally drove right by you, him. You probably did, but you knew where you were going. I bet you anything in your phone, there's probably a pin to where you had to pick him up. Someone told you where to pick him up. Right? So they actually have kids. I asked her if she didn't bring it. She's like, she won't bring the kids. So I'm glad that they didn't bring their kids with them. Um, basically, they said they just need work. They don't pay enough down there in uh, Mexico where they live, and they just want to come here and work. So they left their kids and their everything behind to come up here and try to sacrifice for their family. So um, unfortunately, they did it illegally. And, and uh, we'll see what happens. We'll turn them over to Border Patrol, and then they'll make their decisions from here. There's all their camouflage clothes. Here's a couple more bags. What's he searching my car for? He's going to tow it. Why? Because they're going to detain you for a federal crime. That's why I said. For what? You're smuggling humans, ma'am. What in that work? That's up to Border Patrol. They're going to detain you. They're going to tow your car. You told me I was just getting a warning for speeding. From me, yes. And I said Border Patrol is going to want to talk to you. They're not going to talk to me. He's going to, yes. Is there anything I can do to avoid that? I'm not. Stop honestly, committing federal I've crimes. I've done this before. It's a brand new car. It's a nice car. So clearly she's been doing this because she's got her boxes that she claims it's because she's moved. But. She's got air fresheners in here. She's got about three or four of these air fresheners in here. She has a grip of perfume in the center console because typically when people come out after hiking several days, you don't always smell real great. And then we got all these cardboard here, which obviously is to keep her brand new car clean. Clearly, this is something she does all the time. She applied to play us for fools and act like we don't know what we're talking about. Uh, but she's going to go with Border Patrol today, and she's going to find out the old F around find out came true for her today.